Charlie Rangel has been found guilty of 11 ethics violations. Charges included improperly soliciting donations for his center and New York City College, failure to provide complete financial disclosure information, and improper use of a rent control department for campaign purposes. On Monday, we talked about how Rangel walked out of his trial because he said that the drawn out proceedings have basically uh, left him without any money for legal representation. Well, now we have the verdict, and just today we were, I was watching earlier the discussion among a House committee about what should his punishment be. I don't imagine that he is going to be kicked out of the House. I believe that it is going to be basically a slap on the wrist, at most some kind of censure. I obviously am not defending Charlie Rangel, and we've said on the show, Lewis, and you can attest to this, that Charlie Rangel's time in Congress may be starting to come to a close, but Republicans saying he should be kicked out might feel that way, and they have a right to feel that way, but that doesn't mean that he should be. I mean, not every offense is a firing offense at, at a job, is it? Right. And again, I don't like what he did, and I, I could even make the case that maybe he should be kicked out. Maybe he should, but his constituents just did reelect him with 80% of the vote, knowing about the charges. They didn't know about the guilty verdict at that time, but they knew about the charges. And they reelected him with 80% of the vote anyway. So you're and, saying that kicking him out would be doing a disservice to them? Absolutely. And we're less than two years from getting another chance to vote. And if they, if they don't like the verdict, you can certainly vote on it again, and, and you can remove Charlie Rangel. I think that there is hysteria mounting here about getting rid of Charlie Rangel. What he did is incredible. And you know what? If you are a, uh, a single mom, a low-income single mom in New York, and you can't get the rent control apartment because Charlie Rangel is controlling it for campaign purposes, that's, that's, a bit, that's serious business, so to speak. But again, I don't know that this is for the House to, to kick out Charlie Rangel if there is not, uh, if there not, there's not a criminal liability here, and, and we know that it is not. This was an ethical, internal matter of the House. Right. Had it been a felony or something of that sort, no doubt he'd be kicked out. What's your thought on this? Should, should he stay or should he go? And not, not overall. I know you think he should go overall, overall, but should he be kicked out by his peers? No. You, you say no? No. Before we go to a break, we are one week from the conclusion of the Thanksgiving membership drive, and I want to say a couple of things. Number one, it's been going incredibly well. So thanks to everybody who has signed up for, for membership on the David Pakman Show membership program. That includes Al G, Ray M, Will D, Gary N, and of course, Brian L and several others. But I want to make clear everybody knows we are uh, essentially supported by a small number of, of sponsors, small companies, and by the membership program. And it's because of the membership program that we've even expanded to the twice daily show. We're now doing two bonus shows. We are expanding and providing you with a commercial free version of the full podcast. And next Thursday, Thanksgiving, we'll be giving away Another iPad, which I know, Lewis, we've had to lock this thing up because you've been telling your family members to come in and try to take it on off-peak off hours, and a whole bunch of other music. So we've got some great giveaways going on, and this is really the time to do it. I mean, we're not talking about a lot of money here, which, Lewis, as you know, goes directly back into growing the show. You can log on to davidpackman.com slash membership, and this is really the time. We've got one week left here. And uh, the members are all fully taken care of. Everybody's very happy with what's going on. Anything else to add to that, Lewis? No, I think, I think we've got it. We've pretty much covered it, haven't we? <laughs> yes, the we have. Thanksgiving membership drive. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with more after this. 2192-DAVID-P if you're listening live and want to call in. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. The David Pakman Show is made possible by listeners like you and by Greenfield Savings Bank, building a strong community one account at a time, with neighborhood offices in Greenfield, Amherst, Conway, Shelburne Falls, South Deerfield, and Turner's Falls, and online at greenfieldsavings.com. By the Daily Hampshire Gazette and GazetteNet.com, connecting our communities with local news and information. By DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at DIFDesign.com. Find out more about underwriting The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. 